Hey you guys, welcome back. The quest with Sabine continues. What do you think? Should we sneak into the group of riders that's surrounding Sabine? You know, there is one thing I'm a little worried about. If I go near Sabine, I might not be able to control myself. Oh, good point. I don't want to see how I'd react if I were to confront her, especially after everything she's done. How do you feel about confronting Sabine? I'll do it for Aideen. She doesn't scare me. Kind of looks like I'm the only one left to do it. I mean, I don't know if she's scary or not. Sabine won't stand a chance against you. I know that for certain. Oh, that's good. Linda's right. Plus, she's so self-involved, she'll never suspect your motives. Well, let's tiptoe over here and see exactly what she's up to. She's still in the middle of the ring? Wait, where is she? I don't even see her. I just see these two riders just running around like crazy. Oh, but there she is. There she is. She's in the middle. Should I just go right up to her? Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm just riding. She's just watching them ride around. I mean, really, if anything, these horses just kind of seem like they're a little bit on autopilot, kind of going crazy. Do, 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 do. Everything's perfectly fine. Oop. I'm not getting caught on the thing. Maybe we'll sneak around back over here. Let's just hop into the ring. Hey, Sabine. Oh, yes! Finally, those are the boots that we saw in the trailer. They were her boots. Here she comes walking in with her horse. Uh-huh. Well, well, well. Look what the horse dragged in. Can't you see I'm busy? It's obvious you're not here to join me. What brings you to me anyways? Stop torturing those poor riders. Yeah, they're, they're racing around like crazy. Bold of you to show your face around here. Just curious is all. Have you been hitting the gym? <laughs> I mean, obviously she's been going to the gym. Hmm. Interesting. Did you have a falling out with one of your little friends or something? You don't strike me as one to go against the crowd. I'm giving these riders an alternate to the sappy clubs that run rampant over this island. Not everyone is looking to join a squeaky clean BFS for life club. It sickens me. Of course, those riders have nothing on con in me. They wish. Hm. Don't you think if I wanted to hide something from you and your friends, I would be more subtle? Well, if you're not going to leave me alone, you might as well put yourself to use. Entertain me. Ride. You're always riding around with those 80 and loving soul riders, but do you have what it takes to reach a level of riding prestige? Most people only dream of. Show me what you've got. Do what these riders are doing and demonstrate your skills as a rider to me. Uh, okay, does she want me to just ride around like crazy? Here, I'll try to join them and just kind of go in crazy circles. Because it looks like they're not really doing anything. They're just kind of, they're just kind of going. Oh, my poor horse. He doesn't even want to do it. Here, I'll try to keep up. I'll try to follow her. See, we're racing. We're racing around. Huh? Turning. Tight turn. Uh, is that good enough, Sabine? Uh, ma'am? Hmm. If you impress me enough, I just might challenge you to a race. Oh, she gave me tokens. She's nice. <laughs> you think you can work your way around this jumping track? Give it all you got. If you succeed, I might give you a second challenge. Maybe. Demonstrate your jumping skills to Sabine. <gasps> yes, rider XP, finally! Ah, okay. This looks like this is gonna be some tight turns. Ah, uh, okay. Good thing I don't have to go through those barrels. Ooh, high jump. Oops. Hopefully she didn't see that. <gasps> I'm jumping out of the circle. She didn't see that either. She didn't see it either. See, look. I'm doing so well. I did it. Hey, I did perfect, right? Did you see? Hmm. You made it to the finish line. What? You want a round of applause? It'll take more than that to impress me and these muscles. You passed the first test. But what about the second one? Most riders who tried failed this challenge. Will you? Speed won't help you in this one. Oh no, do I have to weave in and out of those poles? Ooh. All right, we can do it, we can do it. Oh. <gasps> Don't hit the pole, don't hit the pole. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh. Don't knock any of them down. That really upset her. Should I do it? All right, we did it. Yes, run to the finish line. Oh yeah. So did I pass the second test? Hmm. Maybe those druids taught you a thing or two about writing after all. Yes, XP, writer XP. We need some daily writer XP in Star Stable. That was just a warm up. This next test is the real deal. Listen to Sabine's third test. Prove yourself in this and I just might take you seriously. But first consider something with me for a moment. It's sad, isn't it? This puny spectacle of a festival. All the decorations, smiling faces. It's all a ruse, flimsy as wet cardboard. Sickens me. <gasps> GED, look closer. What do you see? GED are still destroying the environment, pumping oil into the fields, and taking over land that isn't their own. Who's allowing this? Why hasn't anything been done about this for years? The riding clubs pretend to be all welcoming and friendly, but in reality, they're at the other club's throats. Some might call it rivalry, but it's straight up contempt. Disgusting. Trotting around with their holier than thou attitudes. Oh, our riding club is the best. We're like family. Ugh, sick. This island is missing a real riding club place where anyone can prove their worth. Ride together, die together. Um, are you gonna kill me? If only. 
that's besides the point. Jorvik is a dark place, but everyone would rather pretend it's not, all to keep their little lives, staying in their fantasy bubble, shunning everyone who thinks otherwise. So how about we give them a wake-up call? Stick it in their fakeness. Give them a taste of reality. I'm not telling you to sabotage the festival. In fact, I'm telling you not to do anything. But instead, I ask you. Are you just going to sit there and stand for this fake show of happiness? Or you make a statement so bold, they won't know what hit them. I mean, honestly, she's bringing up some really good points. There's like a ton of darkness on this island and everybody does pretend to be like, oh, it's all okay. Fripp is going to take care of everything. Don't worry. So she's got a good point. What are we going to do? All you have to do is say the word. Or we can pretend this conversation never happened and you can run along back to your friends. Hm. Are you ready to make a statement? Agree to sabotage the... <gasps> Agree to sabotage the equestrian festival or not. What? Are we going to sabotage it? Here's the situation. No one is watching the pigs at Sunfield Farm, and the gate to their pen is awfully flimsy. Yeah, okay. It would be so easy for someone just to walk by and flip that latch open to let them out. Yeah, but what is that going to accomplish? Those pigs are just asking to be let free. It'd be a shame not to let them join in with the festival activities, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. Please don't make me make a choice. <gasps> They're having me go let the pigs out? Okay, I'll be right back. Are Linda and Alex still over here? No, they left. <gasps> they left. There it is. The little pig pen. Hey, guys. It, just ignore me. Yep. Just taking a little ride right over here. She's right. The gate is quite flimsy. Opening it would cause trouble for a lot of people. But on the other hand, it does look like fun. Don't make me make a choice, please. Should I let myself be swayed by her? No, I have to make a choice. Well, she certainly had a point about the attitude around here. Dot, dot, dot. No, she is evil. <gasps> What do I do? I don't think she's evil. She's against GED. And if anybody's against GED, they're kind of a friend of mine. She did have a point about the attitude around here, but I like dot, dot, dot. Oh, this is too much to think about. Either way, it's my own choice. No, only two choices. I'll either open the gate and let the pigs free or it's not worth it. Leave the gate alone. But the pigs want to enjoy the festival too, right? I mean, what happens if we leave the pigs here? I don't want the pigs to get hurt. We'll leave the gate alone. I'll go back to her. I'm not doing this. Is she going to be mad at me? I mean, it just seems kind of dangerous to have the pigs just kind of running around. I hope she's not mad. Uh, Sabine, uh, is there something else we could do besides just letting the pigs out at the festival? So you're back. Interesting. Hmm. Surprised you didn't just make a run for it. Why would I do that? She will tell you what to decide to do or lie. So, did you actually do it then? Well, no. What? They want me to lie to her? I'm just going to tell her I didn't let them out. I don't want the pigs to get hurt and they belong to the Sunfields. Of course you didn't. I wouldn't expect anything less from an oh-so-devoted Aideen follower such as yourself. Hmm, okay. That's just about the time I have for these games. It's time I got back to the other writers so I can continue to teach them a thing or two about real equestrianism. No! Why are you still here? What about the race? Scared I'll beat you. You promised a race. Aren't you a woman of your word? Bye. I don't want to race you anyway. Yes, I am a woman of my word. So be it. I promised you a race, you'll get a race. We ride from here around the walled city of Jarlheim and back again. No games or tricks, and definitely no interference from your friends. And apparently not from any pigs either. This isn't a race though, you know that, right? There's no way in the darkest depths of Pandoria that you'll ever catch up to me. Her horse is so beautiful. What if I let those pigs out? What would have happened? On my mark, we ride. <gasps> yes, then you get a jacket. And a hundred player XP. Oh, it is so on. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Maybe I should have brought a horse that was a little faster. There she is. Okay, Khan is definitely a very fast horse. Where are we racing? <gasps> Careful. Hey, she's trying to make this race really difficult. That's not fair. see her. Oh, there she is. Oh, man. Oh, she beat me. But it says good job. Um, so how, how did I do? Hmm. Well, I'm surprised you managed to keep up with me. Anyway, just take this. I dare you to wear this in front of your friends. Oh, <gasps> she gave me the jacket anyways. Why are you still here? Go. Report back to Alex and Linda. Uh, bye, Sabine. Maybe we can enjoy the festival together. Walk around, check out all the cute horses. I said go. Oh, <gasps> They added in a daily race with her for a thousand horse XP. Sabine's like the nicest character. Yeah, we'll definitely be hanging out later. Good thing I didn't lie to her because who knows what she would have done. 
Wait, let's check out this jacket. I bet you Alex and Linda won't even know that I'm wearing something from her. Sabine's jacket, a writing jacket befitting the queen of mean. It exudes strength, discipline, and control. Will you dare to wear this in front of the Soul Riders? Absolutely. Yeah, I got the helmet. Now I got the jacket. Oh yeah. Hey, Alex, Linda, look at what I got. You were gone so long. We were worried. We knew you could handle Sabine. So what happened? What did you learn? You look kind of different. She challenged me to do writing tasks. We rode together. I had fun, actually. It was awful. Sabine's a bully. She's definitely not a bully. Look, she's stern and strong with her word, but I think inside she's kind of a softy. But she did challenge me to do writing tasks. Oh, so that's what she's up to? Gathering forces to create some kind of writing posse or something? You're not going to join her, are you? Then again, you have to be careful. People can fall for Sabine's flattery and manipulation. Whether or not she's here to do something truly wicked, who knows? I guess we'll never know. Well, she's not here to do anything good, right? Well, I mean, why do you think she's here? To cause trouble. She's gathering people, organizing for something. Even mean girls want people to train with. Well, that's true. You know, mean people are actually just mean because the world is kind of mean to them. So they're just reflecting that back. So I'm sure she's not really mean. This is why we need to be nice to each other. So I don't think she's here to cause trouble, which I still don't know the deal with the pig thing. That was really strange. But yeah, I think she clearly wants people to train with her because I'm definitely going to go back and do that 1000 XP race. No, I don't buy it. There's more to it than that. Sabine's a sneaky snake. Just look at her hair. I don't like this at all. I'm getting so many bad vibes. It's almost as if Sabine's standing right here, right now. Or at least something similar to her. <gasps> Linda knows. Linda knows I'm wearing her jacket. I won't say anything. Well, only time will tell if those writers are under her spell. Oh, that was such a good quest. That was such a good quest. All right, the fun is definitely not over. I have a training video. I'm gonna be training my horse Orange Juice. Definitely gonna be taking him over to Sabine. This is the final week of the Equestrian Festival and it says that the festival races are double horse XP. So you do not wanna miss it. I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.